the final session of NAC PLTM visit, that is exit meeting. On behalf of the Education Societies, the Anand Science College, a hearty welcome to NAC PLTM Honorable Chairperson, Professor R. M. Mishra, Honorable Vice Chancellor, APS University, Reva, Madhya Pradesh, Honorable NAC Peer Team Member Coordinator, Professor Surjit Kumar Ghosh, Professor Dibrugad University, Dibrugad, Assam, Honorable NAC Peer Team Member, Dr. Murphy Alexander, Principal, MS University, NAC Peer Team Observer, Honorable Professor B. K. Suresh, Tumkur University, Tumkur, Karnataka. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to call upon Principal Dr. Thank you. Dr. Surjit Kumar Ghosh, Professor Dibrugad University, Dibrugad, the member coordinator, the member Dr. Murphy Alexander, Principal MS University Constituent College, Kanyakumari, the observer, Professor B.K. Suresh, Professor Tampur University, Tampur. Honorable Office Bearers of the Anand Education Society, Honorable President Lahuti Ji, Honorable Vice President Somani Ji, Honorable Secretary Biani Ji, Joint Secretary Jain, Jain Ji, Suresh Ji Jain, our respected ex-principal Dr. Tulubasar, Dr. Principal Ladda Sir, our sister institute's principal all gathered here. All the faculty members, alumni, students, and the stakeholder of the Anand Science College. It's indeed a great pleasure and privilege for me to welcome the distinguished peer team to this exit meeting of this third cycle of NAC re-accreditation process. I also welcome all the dignified office bearers, members of the Anand Education Society in Latur, all our respected ex-principals, alumni members, staff, students. At the outset, let me congratulate the NAC coordinator, Dr. R.V. Saunke, IQAC coordinator, Dr. S.S. Bellari, all the members of steering committee, staff, students, alumni, parents of the Anand Science College for their total commitment and dedication in the successfully completing the process of reassessment and reaccreditation over the past two days. This institution is backed by a highly protective and progressive management, has been playing a vital role in shaping the destiny of not only our student but also all the teaching and non-teaching staff. I also express my great gratitude for their full-fledged support and cooperation. <coughs> Friends, the NAC peer visit over the last two days was 
the culmination of years of hard work its compilation its interpretation its introspection and presentation of all aspects of college academics and administration the visit of the nak peer peer team provoked us to do the soap analysis of our institution instill quality consciousness introduce quality culture and consequently help us to march towards excellence during the intermediate period between the two accreditation all our all our efforts were targeted towards overcoming the institution's weaknesses found and to add a new academic practices at the same time the study of the recommendations given in the second cycle of nac peer team report guided us in overcoming the recommendations since then our college we are been striving hard to attend positive tendencies and progress towards achieving higher benchmark in quality enhancement and further strengthening our institution i express my full satisfaction over the ssr submission the dvv process and now the visit of the esteemed peer team and i am sure the visit and the findings will surely help the institution for the further overall improvement in the performance of our college i am very much thankful to the total cooperation extended by our esteemed members of the peer team during all aspects of our academy and administrative presentation and also the dvv further clarification and i am really apologized for any inconveniences caused during your visit i deeply thank all of all our stakeholders for their constant support the generous management the trustworthy all the staff members the tireless non teaching staff members the vibrant student community the faithful alumni and the loyal parents wishing you all a good luck thank you very much thank you sir merit list merit list honorable nat Inspector, Chairman, Vice Chairman, Secretary, and other office bearers of the Bengal Education Society, Nato, and our peer team members, <coughs> Professor D K Suresh, Professor Gos, Professor. Alexander, honorable principal of the college, NAC coordinator, IQC coordinator, faculty members of the college, <coughs> other invitees, respected invitees. 
dear students ladies and gentlemen first of all i would like to clear here that i am not a good orator i am a student of science may be exceptional but as i know myself that i am not a good orator i may be a good orator in classroom but not in public places anyway if i have been asked to say something i am here before you i would like to share few words with you first of all on behalf of the peer team i thanks to the whole college including your students i thanks to the chairman vice chairman secretary and other office bearers of the society who attended us who welcomed us and who has given all respect to our peer team during two day visit i thank to principal of the college i think he has been the main inspiration to other members the stakeholders of the college other faculty members i thanks to uh, nat coordinator and ipsc coordinator who has given full support to us and i also thanks other faculty members who have given full time during the last two days and i cannot forget the help of the students particularly those who have presented themselves during the last uh, evening i am we are thankful to the students particularly the uh, uh, students participated in folk dance and other presentations <coughs> as we know that the higher education institutions are meant for producing raw material to our raw material in the form of the students to our higher institutions we are producing scientists although we are not directly producing scientists from the colleges we are giving them bsc or msc degree but we know that we are producing raw materials for iso for other high institutes high institutes of the country and they are producing scientists we are producing raw materials we can we are producing engineers doctors and they are producing scientists and after that they are dreaming to reach the surface of mars and moon so we cannot forget the role of higher education institutions of the country because we are the main source we are giving them the raw 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 material and that is why country is pro- progressing we have progressed since the independence we have progressed in the field of medical sciences we have progressed in the field, field of space sciences agriculture sciences pharmaceutical industries and what not but in spite of all these we have lost something and still we are losing 
and that is moral values. We are losing human values, we are losing social values, we are losing moral values. Which is very important. यदि हम मनुष्य बना रहे हैं बहुत बड़ा साइंटिस्ट बना रहे हैं डॉक्टर है इंजीनियर है यदि वो आदमी नहीं है तो कुछ नहीं है यदि वो समाज के बारे में नहीं जानता सोसाइटी के बारे में नहीं जानता ह्यूमन वैल्यूज के बारे में नहीं जाता जानता तो वो देश के लिए क्या करेगा हम ऐसा आदमी क्यों पैदा कर रहे हैं कि डॉक्टर है लेकिन मानो नहीं बन पाया तो उससे देश का विकास नहीं होगा इसलिए हमको ये देखना है कि वे आर प्रोड्यूसिंग साइंटिस्ट वे आर प्रोड्यूसिंग वेदर ही नोज अबाउट ही आर ही इज हैविंग समथिंग अबाउट मॉरल वैल्यूज आर नॉट एंड दैट इज वाई पर है फर्स्ट टाइम सिंस इंडिपेंडेंस द गवर्नमेंट इंडिया हैज थिंक about this and they have formulated the national education policy and there is provision aap logo ne padha hoga usme is baar naitik mulyon ko bahut sthan diya gaya hai ki servers mein naitik mulyon ko aap samayit kare ye alag baat hai ki aapka science college hai वो प्रॉपर प्लेस आर्ट्स कॉलेज में कॉमर्स कॉलेज में मिल सकता है साइंस कॉलेज में आप सोच सकते हैं कि कहाँ रखे लेकिन रखना पड़ेगा और उसके लिए प्लेस है आपको साइंस साइंस के ग्रेजुएशन में भी आपको सर्विस में कहीं ना कहीं मॉरल वैल्यूज के बारे में सर्विस में इंटीग्रेट करना पड़ेगा तो वो सभी सभी क्लासेस में आएगा अब आगे जो साइंटिस्ट पैदा होंगे मुझे बड़ा आश्चर्य होता है रीवा जैसी छोटी जगह में रहते हैं जब मैंने बॉम्बे की एक आध न्यूज सुनी कि एक बच्चे की माँ की लाश एक महीने से घर में पड़ी रहेगी सड़ रही वहीं पर एक महीने बाद वो फॉरेन से आया तो मैं इतना डिस्टर्ब हुआ कि हम ऐसा साइंटिस्ट क्यों पैदा किए जो मनुष्य नहीं है जो अपने माँ बाप को भूल गया तो ऐसे ऐसे बच्चे से क्या फायदा ऐसे साइंटिस्ट से क्या फायदा ऐसे डॉक्टर से क्या फायदा इसलिए हमको ऐसा एजुकेशन नहीं चाहिए हमको ऐसा आदमी नहीं चाहिए और संभवतः न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी में इस तरह की बातों पर ध्यान दिया गया है तो आगे चल करके देश में एक नई क्रांति आने की संभावना है देखिए क्या होता है वो बात की चीज है Uh, every higher education institutions has its own weaknesses and strengths and i am delighted to see that this society is scattered for higher education this then education society of latur is scattered for higher education there are number of colleges in the same campus our college science college law law college the commerce college and they are planning to start some other colleges also in other campus and this is good thing for our education particularly for this region i congratulate to the society to the office bearers of the society for their approach towards our education As far as science, Dharan and Science College is concerned, we have given reports. We have submitted report to the NAC, and we will hand over the report to the principal, college principal today. This college, as we have seen. Has some excellent departments. Particularly, I would like to name here the physics department of this college. Is, in our opinion, is excellent department. 
also you can use these facilities for consultancy purposes you can utilize the instruments for consultancy purposes so that will be the another source of income for the college for that particular department so i hope that the college will look after on these matters and uh, at the last i would again thanks to all the organizers the office peers of the society the principal of the college the coordinators iqc coordinator and all the faculty members of the college for giving us full support on 14 and today's session thank you very much and the education society you all words have encouraged us for enrichment of quality education as well as value education thank you sir honorable nac peer team member coordinator professor surjit kumar ghosh to express his views well good evening my colleagues on the dais my colleagues sitting over there so it was a real pleasant experience for last two days in lato So in Maharashtra, I am not here. I have visited many places in Maharashtra, and last two days we had an interaction with the management as well as the NAC, um, uh, what you call IPC director, principal, and sometimes we had a heated kind of exchanges also with the documents verification. This thing happens. What I believe that when we change the ch ch chairs and positions, like if I sit there, if you come over here, situation it is same. And as our chairman has said, nobody is perfect. so there is always scope of improvement i suppose we already have shared our reports with the coordinator as well as the principal they know what we have written in the report it is not that they have to agree with the report but they have seen the report and we already have submitted the reports and one thing this is 70 30 70% evaluation has already been done by the nac as per the ssr which has been submitted by the iqc director and the remaining 30% it is basically a qualitative assessment what you have given what you have submitted in the ssr basically one thing what we have noticed there in ssr while uploading the documents perhaps we have chosen some places the wrong options and because of that some problems might have created i don't know whether it is going to have a negative impact or not that is not in our hand so th again thank you for providing us all the supports and good hospitality at lato thank you very much first honorable nac peer team observers i request uh, professor murphy alexander sir to express his views members of the management committee the principal of this college the iqc coordinator and the <coughs> staff members First of all, I must thank the hospitality and the care which you people have shown on us during these two days. As it was mentioned by our honourable chairman of this visit, you have done a very good things which has not been seen in in my life or in my career in the place where I am working. the the management as far as my judgment is very generous and concerned oriented towards the staff towards the students and the performance of the students yesterday we have seen is uh, as it was mentioned by our chairman it was very good and the discipline of the students so it is a covid college i am also a principal of the covid college having 1600 more students when we conduct a program i have to appoint some on 20 or 25 staff members as a discipline committee i have to form a discipline committee and i have to stand uh, ask them to stand at times the staff members who are appointed as uh, discipline out the members they will create problems but uh, here really i am 
very much, sir. Please stand. You are, uh, I must appreciate uh, the performance of the teachers and the management. So, very much concerned towards uh, the staff, whether you are a teaching staff or a non teaching staff. And uh, we have made our suggestion in your, uh, on our visit in each and every department when you go. I don't want to go in a, uh, in a elaborate manner here. Anyhow, I thank one and all for uh, all the uh, generosity and uh, what do you call the uh, uh, care you show, show towards us during our visit. And I wish this particular institution must grow in all fields. And number one uh, college, this institution must grow as a number one uh, institution in India. Thank you. Thank you. Professor B.K. Suresh sir, to share his views. <coughs> Respected Chairman of NACPIR team, was it? The member coordinator and the other member, Blood Principal of this esteemed college, NAC coordinator and IQC coordinator, the beloved chairperson of the Anand Education Society, the vice president, the secretary, and other office bearers of the Anand Education Group, esteemed faculty friends, my dear friends. By designation, I am an observer. I am not supposed to talk. <laughs> but you have given me a task in order to say a few words. Anyway, the report is over. It is submitted. Then I have that freedom in order to say a few words. On a later note, anyway. See, the first time I just uh, got a call from the NAC office with respect to the Allen College, I didn't know anything about Dayananda. And the person who called me, he just gave a hint to that, you are a person, you must visit this college. Then I could sense that there is something wherein I need to learn from this institute or I can share something to this institute. It's always to be a process. Then I said, yes. After five minutes out of curiosity, I just went through the website of your institute. I could find many things in which many institutions doesn't have. But we cannot believe just by having the information on the website. Because the facts and figures that needs to be checked and authenticated, then only we will come to know the validity of the institution. Then I made up my mind in order to visit this institution. Finally, I can say that it is my fortunate to visit this institute. <laughs> See, overall, if we, as our honorable chairperson has already, uh, you know, gave his opinion about this institute as the single largest science faculty institution in this particular area. And I can say overall there is an excellent infrastructure when it comes to the classrooms, smart classrooms are there. And well equipped laboratories are there. Costliest equipments are there. Library is well maintained. Good number of collections are there. And when it comes to sports facilities or even the activities from NSS and NCC too, it is excellent. See, any institute for that matter, as Professor said, including IITs and IIMs, the topmost institutes, even they too have some black lunch. Starting from the lowest person to the highest person, nobody is free from hurdles. They may be having some kind of an obstacle in their own way. It is our bound duty in order to eliminate those kind of obstacles and not in order to lead the life. And the people may come in and around in order to help us. That is only temporary. 
nobody will come at the, till the end. We are the only one person where we can lead our life till our last breath. And the people who are surrounded by an individual matters a lot for the development of an individual. Similarly in this institute, in order to develop this institute to a greater heights, as an individual, as a principal, you cannot do everything. Fortunate to say that he has got a very good team. The team consists of young and dynamic faculty, supported by the humble management, and that can be executed with the, the young faculty. So that makes a lot of difference. When it comes to this institute, I just found some kind of interesting facts. Though there are six PG departments are there, in affiliated colleges, it's not, it's not that easy to find a good research culture. But here I found that there are about 180 research papers are there, which were published in reputed national and international journals, which fall under either UGCK or Scopus or the top To name some of your Outstanding faculty, uh, Professor M. V. Pange from Physics Department, Dr. Belloy, Professor Swami from Body Department, Pushpa Mahesh from Microbiology, Dr. More from Biotechnology, Dr. Gomre, Dr. Ravindra Shinde from Chemistry, Mr. Sangeeta and her team from computer science. See, they, I could sense that there is a, some kind of a curiosity and interest towards research. I would urge at this point of time to create a research cell, <coughs> appoint a research director, further improve the research culture so that, as Sir's advice to introduce more number of PG courses, research is more important. Mere publishing the paper is not important. See that to what extent that paper is going to be useful in our daily life for somebody. So that I can say that this kind of research culture already being involved by the faculty members and they have started their journey. My sincere compliments to these researchers, scientists I can say. And uh, library. Since library is so well organized, where the beautiful reading rooms are there. A surprise to know that there is a reading room which will open till almost 10 o'clock. Sometimes more than that. <coughs> that means, when I interacted with the librarian, he said, any number of books asked by the student, I am there to give. There won't be any restriction. Some colleges will put a restriction, two books, three books and so on. So it's very nice kind of a method that where the person is ready to give the books in order to inculcate reading habits among the students and the faculty. There are many e-resources are there. That's a good positive thing. And when it comes to sports facilities, beautiful ground is there. Indoor stadium is there. Gymnasium both for the men and women separately is there. So my Sincere compliment to Dr. Mahesh, who is the sports director of this institute. <laughs> then, language lab. Ma'am is here. Pandit Ma'am. So, she has developed that language lab and maintained that language lab where she is inculcating good language skills for the students and that in turn it will help for the employment. We need to make the students who become employable elsewhere. Mere becoming a graduate is not going to serve the purpose. As per NASCAM study, there are about 56% of engineers are unemployed. Then what about the basic degree students? So even a small skill makes a lot of difference in their life. So language skills that has been you know, developed and managed by uh, Miss Pandit, and actually this is a good move and it needs to be upgraded 
for all other students so that everybody is benefited. Then, in order to do everything, it is quite common that we need to have an eminent administrator. Lucky to have an able administrator or your beloved principal. And he has got an enormous amount of experience as he being the principal for the last more than two decades. He's a thorough gentleman, where man of awards. He always achieves something in anticipation of some kind of recognition. That shows nothing will come at free of cost only when you achieve something. So, he achieved a lot, but still, we wish in order to achieve much more for the benefit of this Dayananda Education Society. So, he is like a, uh, I can say, six number one, Ratasavadi. And to his beside, there are two Ram Lakshmana is there. What we have identified, <laughs> NAC coordinator and IPC coordinator, Professor uh, Balal and uh, sorry, Balal, yeah. yeah, and Salun Kavir, Sundra Salun. See, nice to know that these kind of people who are surrounded by an administrator who supports. There are some t uh, times where the people they will backstab, but fortunate to have. These kind of people who really help, especially in the process of NAC. I know what is the difficulty in preparation of SSR report. I am also a NAC coordinator in my university. Extraction of information is very herculean task. We will get all sorts of good, negative, positive things, compliments, comments, everything we will get from everybody. But in spite of that, they did very well. The report has come very well as far as the SSR report is concerned. That is where by you submitted to the NAC. So let this kind of an, you know, the effort be continued so that in the next cycle it will become easy. Many a times what happens? First one or two years they will keep silent. And third and fourth year they will start. Fifth year seriously they will sit. Another two, three years it will go further. <laughs> So this is what happens. So try to have a continuous on the part of uh, you know improvement in case of equality issues are concerned. And at the end, what I would like to say here is as maintenance of quality is like a journey. There is no end for it. There is no destination for it. Everybody needs to strive hard in order to improve. A quality aspect in everywhere. It could be a teaching, it could be evaluation, it could be curriculum, it could be infrastructure, it could be mobilization of funds, it could be a research, it could be an activity, anything for that matter. So let us join hands together for improvement of quality, enhancement of quality, if not enhancement, sustainment of quality. We, everybody needs to run like a machine. If you can't run, at least walk. If you can't walk, at least crawl. If you can't crawl, don't stop it in the same place. That stagnation is unacceptable in this cutthroat competitive world. So with these few words, where I sincerely thank the esteemed management, the principal, vice principal, NAC coordinator, IQC coordinator, all heads of the departments, and end faculty of this particular college and I sincerely thank each one of you. Really it is kind of an opportunity for me in order to learn few more things from your institute and I wish everybody in order to have a better future for the institution as well as for individual capacity. I wish you all the best. Sarvejana Sukino Bhavan. Thank you very much sir for your encouraging chairperson. Professor R. M. Mishra sir and NAC PLT members to kindly hand over the depot to Principal Dr. J. S. Dharvas.
Pandora's box he can open after getting the scorecard from the bank. Yes, the respected dignitaries on the dais, honorable chairperson, NAC peer team, ex vice chancellor, Professor Dr. R. M. Misha sir, honorable member coordinator from Assam, Professor Dr. S. K. Ghosh sir, honorable member from Kanyakumari, Professor Dr. Murphy Alexander sir and honorable member sorry honorable observer of NACPAIR team who joined the team as a member as so familiarly and he dealt with us uh, Dr. B.K. Suresh sir and the pillars and patrons of our management what we say usually then Parivar our patrons, respected president of our Dayan Education Society, Honorable Lahuti sir, vice president, Honorable Arundraji Sonane sir, secretary, Honorable Ramesh Ji Biani sir, joint secretary, Honorable Suresh Ji Jain sir, our respected principal sir, and sister concern principal, Honorable S.P. Gaikwar sir from Arts College, Honorable Bumbrela sir from Pharmacy College, respected Sarputya Madam from Pharmacy College and our ex-principal respected Dr. Ladda sir, Dr. Tulva sir and the captain of our ship, our dynamic principal sir, Dr. J.S. Dargar sir and my colleagues. It is very difficult, it is very hard as it is an emotional part for Vote of thanks for me. Really, it is a stressful journey. As as soon as I have been shouldered this opportunity, be a NAC coordinator. As you truly said, sir, just it should be a process which began to be minimum five years previously. And in that pandemic situation, I have been handled or I have been shouldered upon this opportunity, and. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic situation, it was very difficult to be physically here on place. This is a slight introduction, sir. I will come to my vote of thanks, but quoting everybody's hard work, the blessings and the constant support of our management, it was very difficult, except it. So, uh, beginning from honorable member, uh, honorable peer team, I would uh, like to thank Chairman of the uh, peer team, Arun Mishra sir, for his kind words. As soon as we introduced with sir, Chairman sir, he just see us and told one sentence only: "We are here not to question. We are here just to validate the data. So don't take tension." The elderly, the parental support from him, that mode of my space. Second, honorable member coordinator, Dr. Ghoshtar, he is so enthusiastic and he is so curious and with sharp critics, we all are impressed. But he assured to be a normal platform here. He told us, don't worry, we will see, we will check, we will communicate up to our satisfaction. So, for his kind words also, I am very much thankful from my bottom of heart. My sincere thanks to Honorable Member Coordinator, uh, so Honorable Member, uh, Professor Dr. Murphy Alexander sir. Uh, sir is principal and his subject is zoology. So, it, it is a link or it is a relation, symbiotic relation between us of a subject. He is very kind and he also advised us, guide us during the, during the two days. And what about to say about our observer? Everybody is already impressed by your oratory, sir, your personality. And I also told you that you, your appearance looks like the legendary singer Yasmi Bhaskar. He, he 
just created a situation, a environment, like a friend's environment, in the grand hotel, in the entrance, in the sitting room also, he just said, not order, be seated, we will do, I will check, and he checked each and every paper, every documentation, so thank you for your encouragement, support, we will definitely learn from all you sir, something good and something best, we will try to inculcate among us. The pillars and the patterns, members, every square is a perfect balance when it is a square. Accordingly, our four pillars are in front of this side. They are our patterns. The, our management pillars and patterns always said only one thing during that pandemic. Just do what you want to do in a best way, but if any problem comes there, we are there. For any problem, we have solution come here. And that was the ignition for the whole NAC steering team. They stand behind us and now they are in front of us. So I am very much thankful sir for your blessings, for your encouragement, for your every punctual aspect when it is to be called uh, through our respected principles sir to you, you just clarified it, rectified it and allowed us to do everything for good to us. The ship of the captain who scolded many times, who adhered to the attendance of the staff despite of COVID pandemic, he said just it's a need of time, we will, I will talk to collector, I will talk to superintendent of police in uh, COVID pandemic situation, but there will be no harm to you. There will be no problem to you. Just you will get each and every facility, technical expert, technology, finance, and the so-called human resource available, the best human resource. But he always given support to each and every fraternity, from among from teaching and among from uh, non-teaching also, everybody. So, Due to his captainship, due to his leadership, the day, who, the day today you hand over the report to him, it is the result of his continuous, consistent support to all of us. So I am taking this chance and opportunity formally to thanking him here. Rest, they are my not only colleagues but we are a one family culture here. I am the first blacklisted person from all uh, books of them because by, by texture also and by the de designation also. Every day uh, I am receiving messages on WhatsApp from administration and just I am forwarding it. So they were asking, today, today also we have to come. Yes. But, but, some are elder to me, some are younger to me. I told, listen, this is the way we have to finish this mission like a Mangalyam. Mission Mangalyam, the movie we have seen. Many of my friends always tease me. They used to tease, they used to laugh. It's okay, but ours is one thing. So, I am very much thankful to everybody. It is not the words, but the emotions, what I am feeling here may reach to your heart. I am spe giving special thanks to our ex-principal Dr. Radha sir, having uh, enthusiasm at the age of 80 and for the sake of inspire camp arrangements, lecture workshop, refresher workshop here, because that added a value, not only value but that added the concept in every aspect of our catch them and concept. Our motives catch them and from 11, 9, 8, descending to ascending. So I am very much thankful to you sir. Thanks are to our respected governing council members, respected management members, all non-teaching staff, all my technical staff, my very good friend and a and IPC coordinator and 
from the vice minister of college he is also behind the curtain as i am a nap coordinator he, he was ipc coordinator so in coordination hand to hand we done this job and that has a good end today so last but not least i am thanking him officially so again not extending my vote of thanks just understand me understand my emotions emotions towards you that you all are very very important for this process also and for this institute also i again again once again thank you one and all